they're doing a listen, bruv. Do you know what's hilarious? Do you know what's a joke to all you clowns that back these clowns? You little clown minions, clown like minions, you are. You lot have been told to trust the process. A process you know nothing about, and you're backing blindly. This process. What did we have when they first came to Chelsea that we all moan and complain and mud them for to this day? It was an exodus, an exile, massacre at Chelsea for our Champions League winning team and what everything Romans built. Facts. No lies. Facts. We've literally got two players left and they want them out. Maurice James probably get knocked, sold last next season along with uh, whoever else it is. Let me let me let me explain something to you. And I'm being educational here. Like Enzo should be educated, you know, because he doesn't know what he's chanting, bro, apparently. And yet he's wearing our armband and saying we're gonna give it all and we're gonna fight. Oh, he's such a leader. Where has he led us to? Let's see where he fucking well leads us. All right. Proof's in the pudding, mate. Stop backing blindly, and I'm explaining you something. We had a mass exodus, exiled, all our elite players exiled. Because of way structure, because of kindergarten FC. We are now into the fifth transfer window, their third season, and they are doing an exodus on the team that they fucking built. Players they bought. They're doing the same shit. We were told we got we buying these young players and we're building with them for five years. Oh you fuck, you ain't doing that. You're outright lying. If that's the case, why do you keep going in the market all the time? Oh, what? To give us the PIP mill that you're backing a manager that you're probably going to end up sacking again. It's not a project. It's a financial project. They're playing with you, bruv. They're fucking having a bubble with you. Because do you know what's hilarious? Players like Felix and Ozzyman go against... Their whole transfer policy, their wage structure. Because once they bring Ozzyman and once they bring in Joe Felix, argument's sake, what do you think Cole Palmer's going to say? What do you think Enzo Fernandez, who's already pissed that he's on lower wages than fucking Favana is, who's on 200 grand a week? He's on lower wages than Reese James and who doesn't play any minutes on Re- uh, Raheem Sterling. What do you think these players are going to, they're all going to be disrupted with that? They're not going to be happy with that. And you're going to cause toxicity, bitterness, jealousy within the dressing room. And there's going to be no harmony, no team spirit. There ain't none anyway, because everyone fucking doesn't like Enzo, all the French players who've been forced to delete tweets, come out and press us and basically take away all of their self-respect and dignity. All because they're told to do what they're told because they're getting paid. So they're sold out for the pound note because they don't want to get thrown out. And eventually for final gets sold, disaster gets sold. And you're telling me you rate these clowns rate. Imagine they rate Badashile, Disaster, Fafana higher than Trev. Get out of here, bruv. Get in the bin, bruv. Yeah. Get in the bin. Even a good chuck who's landing more minerals than fucking Levy and Casado this way. Yeah. He looks he looks good. He looks good. He can score goals. He breaks up the play. He reads the game. These guys, there is no process to develop and build a super youth team for the future because these kids ain't getting the chance to stay at this club. This is the academy. First team academy. The first team is the academy at Chelsea. The Cobham Academy, forget it. It's done. It's finished. All right? There's no pathway. We've got 15-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds that want out. Ask Rio. It's gone to Liverpool for less money. No pathway. It's blocks everywhere. So, therefore, even the first team young players haven't got a pathway. We've got Pedrovic that's going to get loaned or sold to Strasbourg. You had Moreira sold to Strasbourg. You're getting Slalina shipped out wherever. You're hearing Mudueke getting forced out. You're getting uh, Chukameka, who looks decent sometimes. He's got potential, but he's had injuries. Now, get him out. Obviously, you don't back these young players that you're fucking buying. Why? Because you're flipping them for pound notes. Every other season, they're selling them crumb by crumb, all right? And they they know on the books it's profit. So tell me, what team are you building? 
What project is this? It's a fagazi. It's false hope. And you're telling me Felix and Osman goes completely against it. Are they going to break it? Are they going to go that way? Now, for me, this is why I put pressure on Clown Lake, my channel, our channel on the Minerals FC, not mine, ours, us together. What we represent, we represent standards, pressure. And it's our pressure and our standards held high as Don Roman left them that puts these clowns under pressure for them to have to go out and spend money they don't want to spend and pay wages they don't want to pay because the supporters are seeing the light. And because they saw the preseason, they're worried. These owners are worried. They've seen the supporters turning. They're scared. So they want to buy a Felix. They want to buy an Ozzyman to bring you back in. Every time you leave, they pull you back in with the PR Happy Mills and these little, little sign marquee signings that you believe are marquee. That go against everything, bruv. Everything that they're doing. It doesn't make sense. That's why they bought Pedro Neto. Because everyone, they've seen, they analyze all social media. They analyze YouTube channels. They analyze influencers. They have influencers in their pocket. Ask Goldfish. Ask Goldbridge. Ask all these main accounts. They're influencers for the clowns. And they see the reactions from the supporters and the minions, the bots. These little AI bots and the ones that don't show their face and give it all big un, yeah? They think they know it all. They're data to them and they cling on to that data. And the data tells them that everyone's worried about the wingers, Sterling, Mudrik, Madueke, worried about the strikers. So what are they gone and done? Oh, Fabrizio says they've been building with, uh, 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 working on a deal with Pedro Neto for two months. Shut up. Get out of here, bro. If that was the case, you would have got the deal done. You paid 60 million, you wrongans. 60 million you had to pay for him. It's not like you got him on a cut price because you waited two months. 60 million, mate. Yeah, George Fraudulent ain't no Benson Hedges. Yeah? Six things we learned. Yeah? That wrongan. All right? They're all narrative setters for the mouthpiece for the clowns. They won't speak what I'm saying tonight. You're mad. Because what I'm saying, all the brown envelopes, your Fabrizio's, your Toothpick Jacobs, Nizar Kinsella's, your Pornstein's, your, all your copy and paste merchants, all your influencers, they know I fucking know the deal. They know I'm telling the truth, which is why they want to cancel me all the time. You can't cancel me. You can't cancel the truth. So someone explain to me what process and what project are you buying into when the clowns don't even know what the fucking process or project is except make money. And they're doing that. And they've stripped our assets, our ho two hotels, car park, Cobham training ground, women's team, all signed off. Chelsea's just an empty shell. Oh, do you like the new rebranding? CFC with a badge and LDN. Do you like the new Chelsea shirt that's not got a sponsor on it for a back-to-back -back season? Embarrassment. We're getting here we goes that are not here we goes. We're getting deals breaking left, right and centre. Because these clowns are not doing the deals correctly. These clowns don't know how to negotiate. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they want. They're desperate right now. They are so desperate. They're panicking. Ultras, I'm telling you now. They are panicking. And that's why they've had to go and blow 60 million on their Neto. That's why they have to go and blow money on Joe Felix if they get him. And Ozzyman. They're desperate to have the supporters buy them time. Because they know 
It's not looking gravy, mate. 